here we are. Let's talk about it. Me, the DNF queen, I guess. I'm gonna tell you why. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nakia. Welcome to my channel. Yes, we are finally here to discuss DNFing books. From me, the DNF queen, I guess. You look through my videos, you will see I generally DNF books every month. I'm still waiting to get through a month without DNFing. I don't enjoy it. I didn't necessarily say I do. I want to not have to DNF books. But I just felt like I wanted to do a separate video discussing this topic because, you know, people have their feelings about DNF and books, and I just wanted to explain mine. Now, when I was looking into this topic, I saw a funny video here on BookTube. I will link it below. Done by Holly Hart's Books, and it was signs that you should DNF a book. And I was like, you know what? There were some things she talked about that I didn't, I didn't necessarily take notes on, but there were three things that I was like, I agree. And let's talk about these things. So she said, when you're counting pages, oh my Lord. Um, <laughs> I don't think I generally DNF books that have shorter chapters because it's just like, even if I'm not necessarily enjoying it, the chapter just flies by. So then it's like, oh, I might as well read this next chapter, see where this is going. Oh, I might as well read one more. But when they're long chapters, I will keep flipping like, how many pages left? Because I generally try to finish a chapter before I put the book down. And I'm always like, how many more pages? <laughs> or if I'm reading on my Kindle, I can see it at the bottom and I'm just like, oh my God. I have started to use the setting where I, on my Kindle, have it set to where I can see how many minutes are left in the chapter. So when I look down and I see like 10 minutes left in the chapter, I'm like, oh my God, kill me now. I shouldn't feel that way. I should not be counting pages, looking at how much time I have left, any of that. It should be enjoyable. This is not school. Another sign that you should DNF a book, she said, is that if it's not holding your attention, and as I said, one of the ways I'm distracted, I'm counting pages. I'm doing this with a book that I'm kind of struggling through right now. I am stopping every like minute. I'm going to check Instagram. I'm like, oh, I forgot to put this on my grocery list. Or I'll be like, oh, let me go look at this email. Or I wonder if so-and-so responded to that comment. It's just like, I shouldn't be thinking about anything else but the book I'm reading. Because when I'm enjoying a book, I forget you know, what is going on. I am all into that book. The time just flies. That is how it should be. If I have all these distractions, clearly I'm not into it. And the other sign that she mentioned that I fully agree with is that when you start complaining about the book to other people, my daughter can tell you <laughs> when I am not enjoying a book, she will be hearing my mouth. I mean, if I'm enjoying it, she's going to hear my mouth too, but in a good way. When I'm not enjoying it, I'm like, oh my God, these people are getting on my nerves or I don't understand what's going on or they're talking too much, et cetera, et cetera. It's clearly not going well if I'm complaining. It's funny, I do have books that end up in the middle where I won't really say anything because it's just sometimes it's not a lot going on and she'll be like, you haven't told me about your book. And I'm like, oh, because it's not really a lot to say yet. But if I'm not enjoying it, like I said, I will be complaining. Not a good sign. Now I wanted to get into some of the nitty gritty things that have to do with booktube and just books in general and the book community. One of the things I think that's controversial or whatever is whether people count their DNFs towards their books read. I do not. On Goodreads, I have a separate category for DNFs and it is not counted towards my books read. I don't think it's fair if I've only read like 20, 30% of the book. I don't count it. If you do, that's you. I also don't rate it though. So you generally don't know my feelings towards that book unless you watch my wrap up. But otherwise, it's just a DNF, that is it. Like I said, I put it away. I do occasionally, this does not happen often, I do have some DNFs that are just kind of like on hold. I can think of two, my Darcy Coates Carol Haunt book and um, can't think of the other one, I'll put it up here on the screen. But yeah, those are ones that I do want to finish. It's just during that month, it was just dragging me down too much. So I was like, let me put this away for right now. But most of the time when I'm done, I'm done. And I even go and watch spoiler reviews so I can find out if I missed anything. That also goes into if you are sitting there wondering if you're going to regret it, if you're going to be wondering what happened at the end of the book, then don't DNF it. For me, I don't regret it. I'm generally like, <laughs> bye, moving on. So that's another reason why I have no problem doing it. I am not trying to be mean to the authors. I generally try to be nice. These are just my personal opinions, 
my personal feelings, the book just wasn't working for me. And I always feel bad when people comment and say, well, now I don't wanna read that book because you said X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, no, you read it. It may work for you. It just didn't work for me. And again, it's just like I said, those reasons I mentioned, if it's not holding my attention, if I am just dragging through it, if I feel like the book is gonna bring me down because I am generally always teetering on the edge of getting into another reading slump, because as I've mentioned before, I went over 10 years without reading consistently. And I'm trying to keep this train going. So I'm trying to just stick with books to keep, just hold my interest. It doesn't have to be the most exciting book because I think that's another misconception you guys may have is that I need a lot going on from the first page. No, there's plenty of books that I've enjoyed that didn't have a lot going on in the very beginning or it took a little bit to get going, but it's just something that grabbed me. I think number one, I really have to be into the characters or the writing just has to be really good, or yeah, if it's exciting, a lot going on. I can't always explain it, but it just has to be captivating for me. And uh, like I said, if it's not, I have to put it down. The other thing that is a big reason why I DNF books is because there are just too many books out there for me to be sitting here lingering on a book that I'm just not enjoying. I have a lot on my TBR, on Goodreads and books that I haven't even put on my Goodreads. And there are constantly new books coming out, as we know. There are backlisted books that I haven't read. I have a lot of catching up to do. So why am I gonna sit here wasting my time on this book that I'm not enjoying? I'm not. So that's just me. Again, I understand some people are like, if I start something, I have to finish it. I understand. You do you, boo. For me, I don't have that problem. I will stop watching a TV show if I'm not enjoying it. I will turn off a movie if I'm not enjoying it. My time is precious. There are other things that I could be doing, so that's just me. If I'm not enjoying it, bye bye I got other books to move on to. As I said, it is no disrespect to that writer. I will say there have been two books that I can think of that were DNF for problematic reasons and uh, I've talked about them in my wrap ups. Other than that, generally it's just a taste preference in me not being into the book and we all have that right. We all have choices and decisions to make. And again, like I said, most of the time when I DNF a book, it just was not for me. It's nothing personal and I really feel bad. It's another reason why I am really hesitant to do ARCs, advanced reader copies if you don't know, because I really feel extra bad if I take a book to review and I can't get through it. I've had this happen to me at least once I know of, but, and I always feel really, really bad, but I try to be extra picky if I'm gonna take a ARC copy and those are harder for me to DNF. And just know in general, it is hard for me to DNF. I know I say just whatever, moving on, but it's not like I read like four pages and I'm done. I have had that happen, but Generally, I try to push through a book because I sometimes don't want to come and tell you I DNF'd a book. But at the end of the day, I just, like I said, I have too many other books that I want to get to and I'm not going to struggle. I'm just not going to do it. So I do try. I really do. But again, I would like to enjoy my reading. And I think we all should. So yeah, I think that is about what I have to say about it. If you have any further questions about DNFing books or anything like that, or you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about DNFing books. Do you do it? Not do it? I know a lot of people say they admire me for doing it. You can do it too. It's okay. It's not gonna hurt. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for this video. Just wanted to talk about it. So until next time, snuggle up in your hideaway with a good book unplug as much as possible. Be kind to all kind and I will see you in the next video. Bye!